Hi, I'm Debbie Walton. I'm Head of Service for Adult and Older Adult um, Services across Oxfordshire. Um, this is a really exciting time for people to join our service um, as part of the long-term plan for serious mental illness. We are doing a lot of work uh, and involving frontline staff in developing and improving the offer to our patients and carers. We are also developing new services including the um, development of primary care mental health services as part of the community mental health framework. Involved in all our developments, uh, we have experts by experience um, in both our transformation work streams and our oversight groups. This ensures that the developments are co-produced and the patient voice remains the centre um, of everything we do. Staff wellbeing and development is really important to us and we're working with our learning and development department um, to ensure that opportunities are available to, for staff at all levels um, within our service. Um, we're also developed to grow your own staff model which means that we are recruiting um, nurse cadets and nurse associate trainees and supporting them through um, to become registered nurses uh, if that's what they want to um, aspire to. Um, we're also developing a similar offer um, for, nurse, for aspiring occupational therapists. I personally enjoy how I could have a full day of work or a full day of shadowing uh, other clinicians and at the end of the day I will still feel very relaxed. It's because I will just go back to the office, talk with the clinicians about how the appointment went and what had happened in the, in the appointment and at the end of the day I will have shared my ideas, shared my understanding and worked through it like a group, like a team. Hi, my name is Saffron. I'm a community psychiatric nurse working in an older adult community mental health team here in Oxford. I've been working for Oxford Health NHS Foundation Trust for the past four years in two separate roles. My favourite thing about working for Oxford Health is the ability to develop and progress in my role. Um, the trusts offer courses that you can attend while working which can attribute to some master's level credits. Um, I've been able to attend two of these courses and I've really enjoyed them. Uh, my managers have been really flexible about giving me study leave and time off to complete assignments. Um, during the courses I met some really interesting people from all over the trust who work in a variety of different roles. I also really enjoy coming to work and seeing my colleagues. I've been lucky enough to have really amazing colleagues throughout my entire career here. Things in my home life have changed a lot over the past year or so. I've had to step up and start providing daily care for a family member. My team have been very supportive with that and have allowed me to change my working hours so that I still have a manageable balance between my work life and my home life. Trust gives really good opportunities for progression. For example, after I finish here, I can be employed anywhere within the Oxford Health Trust as what I qualify as after my apprenticeship. I'm Sue Cook. I work as a community mental health and memory clinic nurse. I've worked in the NHS for 45 years, from the age of 18 to 63, and I'm still going. In that time, I've seen a lot of change and innovation in the NHS and a lot of technology. But as nurses, we still see people at their most vulnerable and they put their trust in us and that's a privilege. We have to be kind, caring, compassionate, professional, knowledgeable and we need you to join us. Hello, my name's Olivia Hancock and I'm one of the experts by experience. I suffer with obsessive compulsive disorder and anxiety and was a service user myself of the adult mental health team um, for a few years. The team have made such a difference to my life. I'm now able to do things that I wasn't um, when I first realised I had OCD. Um, I'm now able to socialise, do my work and everything just seems to be so much better and that is from the cognitive behavioural therapy that I've received and also sort of my treatment plan in terms of my medication. It really has made such a difference and throughout the whole process I felt like I was um, fully involved with my treatment from speaking about how I felt about my medication to how I felt different techniques were or weren't working 
And now as a result, I am one of the experts of experience to really help people move them forwards to see how, how we can improve the services. And I'm really looking forward to being part of such a group of people that have gone through what I've gone through. And we really want to see how we can make a difference to other people's and really shape their experience from our own. Hello, my name is Tanvia. I'm making this video clip to share with you the experience I had with my first care coordinator. She was with me during hospital and she was with me on my recovery journey out of hospital and into my first home. And she was very understanding, very caring, very empathetic. She was a very strong pillar and guided me and didn't sit there. She acknowledged I had difficulties, I had challenges, but could see within the strength and help me navigate how to be a better me and how to have a better life and environment and to work towards that. That belief meant the world to me. And I have done so much more with my life now and I would encourage you to see each person you work with, each client you work with, as a whole person with all the skills, all the talents, everything there. Not necessarily to be who they were, but to become a better, stronger person. Uh, a one that has a life and has a future. Thank you.